Hey guys, Jonas here over at Memphis Boat Center. Talking to you a little bit today about our 24 foot Avalon rear lounger. Um, this one has a capacity for 12 and we run a Evinrude 150 high output motor on it. Um, so high capacity, you can fit you, your friends, your grandchildren, your children, whoever you want, they'll be good. This one's a Tritune. Um, it'll come with splash guards, wave gliders. Um, obviously with a Tritune, you'll be a little more agile. You can put a bigger motor on there. Um, you got a nice swim platform out front here. Um, so if you have kids who want to jump off, you have people who need to catch you if you're not that good at docking. Um, whatever you want to do, it's good for that. Um, and we'll take you on the inside and show you that. All right, on the inside now, you can see why it's called a rear lounger. You got these two loungers in the back, a couple people on them a piece. Um, you can just kick back, relax, and watch whoever's tubing, skiing, whatever you want to do behind it. Um, all the cup holders, speakers, they're going to have blue LED ice lighting on them. Um, if you come up here a little further, you can see we have the two captain's chairs. Um, and then you have the Evinrude system, digital system on the dash here, which is going to tell you speed, RPM, temperature, what your oil is looking like, everything you need to know. Um, trust me, these systems are a lot smarter than we are. Um, you have ski locker here, extra storage in there. Um, you can put whatever you want. We put coolers in there. You can put skis, wakeboards, bolt it up a tube. Um, you have two benches up here, which is pretty standard on pontoons. Um, plenty of storage in here. You have some under here on both sides. So we got Evinrude 150 HO high output motor here. Um, all the Evinrudes we'll have will be two stroke. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing. You don't have to mix the oil yourself. You put the oil and gas in separately. Um, this one is gonna run about 185 horsepower, five year warranty, no break-in period. First service should be about 300 hours going to be around five years or so so you don't have to worry about that we'll have more torque than a four stroke more power than a four stroke better fuel efficiency um, all around it'll have lower emissions um, and i think we got this boat up about 43 44 miles an hour so it will definitely get up and go for you